The Halloween Mega Crab is here, and actually we have troop speed 100%, so I thought let's use Warriors, the fastest troop in the game. We've done this plenty of times, Warriors plus troop speed, but I kind of just want to see like how far we can get in Mega Crab in one video. You know, I can make a 30 minute video easy, not easy, but today I'm going to be making our average length video and see how many stages we can defeat. And that is kind of why I started immediately and I jumped into it immediately. So we'll see how many stages we can defeat. Of course, this is on my low level, my mid level starting over account. So I don't have maxed out warriors. I don't have nine warriors in each boat. I don't have um, I, I also didn't boost up any statues or any tribes, so it's kind of just like a normal mega crab, but we're actually going to be trying to get a good time. So, mega crab warriors, you probably don't want to use them. They're, they don't really make a good attack combination, but the troop speed will make them a little bit better, so I'm excited for that. Also, I'm expecting the 100% troop speed to go up the farther we get into this mega crab. So let's shot my troops. It doesn't look like that will be enough. Activate my hero. We'll try to take down these buildings. Just to get enough artillery to take down the core. There we go. Stage four drops. I did lose a few. That's okay though. This is kind of like a, a speed run. <laughs> yeah, a mega crab speed run would be awful. If you, if anyone ever wants to do a mega crab speed run, go for it. But that just does not sound fun to me. Okay, we'll get a flare out before that. Are you kidding me? My hero messed me up huge. I'm glad the other cryobombs didn't fire off. But yeah, my hero messed me up. Anyway, a Mega Crab speedrun would consist of probably just um, using all 40 attacks. How fast can you use all 40 attacks? And I think it would have to have some stipulation around beating stages. Otherwise, people can just lose on stage one every attack and not make it anywhere so it'd have to have some stipulation around okay you have to hit at least stage 60 so you actually have to try but then at any point you hit that target stage you're just going to be uh killing off your troops so i don't know how that would work maybe you can't purposefully you can't purposefully lose. This is not something I would want to do because this is literally like a five hour speed run, which would just be awful. That, that suck, honestly. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people are already kind of speed running Mega Crab. Obviously, the beginning stages go by a lot slower. I definitely attack higher stages faster. Mainly what I mean by that, <laughs> let me expand because it doesn't really make a lot of sense now that I said it out loud. When I'm uh, usually attacking low-level bases, uh, l these low-level stages, you can attack and defeat them a lot faster. Um, so the whole 20 seconds in between stages where the base blows up and you're just waiting for the, the screen and you're waiting to hit attack again and move on to the next stage, um, that takes up the majority of the time. But once you're high up in stages, the majority of the time is spent actually taking down the stage so it feels like you're taking out faster it feels like you're um it feels like you're uh, not spending a lot of time planning and that's what i was getting at is i don't really plan when it comes to mega crab i mean when i'm up higher and i'm actually pushing for like a legendary trophy then i'll sit back i'll ask myself okay how should i what's the best plan of attack how should i beat this and uh there's that it takes a lot of planning but now that I have some legendary trophies, it's not really worth all the hype, in my opinion. So, uh, how should I do this, actually? Okay, I have a plan. I'm just gonna burn through the shield, I think. Uh, now that we're starting to get shields, though, we might have to switch it up and go to a different combination, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm actually just gonna, like, take down all of these buildings by the core. We'll get some medkits out and let my, my troops just burn it, and we'll see what happens. But anyway, I don't really plan when it comes to Mega Crab, and a lot of people do plan, and planning is really good. I remember when the first uh, couple Mega Crabs came out that had trophies, and it was like, stage 60 gets you the Diamond Trophy. I really wanted the Diamond Trophy, and I think a lot of people did as well. And I literally, 
would be watching people's videos every single attack after like stage 45 just like trying to optimize it because at that point in time we really didn't know how fast or how many attacks you would have at the end because nobody had ever like gotten up that far before and then after those first couple is like okay this is actually pretty easy to uh, just beat these stages and not have to plan too much like I can easily get up to stage 60 every crab for the most part I think it's pretty easy I think it would have to be on my main account for sure and I think I would also have to be full boosted for the whole thing but if those two conditions hold I think I could easily get stage 60 every time it just takes six to eight hours of attacking and it's just so boring and that's my main reason why I don't just hit Mega Crab bases anymore. It's just because it, it's very repetitive. Even between Mega Crabs, it's the same thing. Once you're up high, it's the exact same type of base that you're seeing. It, it switches between four base designs. or <laughs> I don't know if it's actually four, but it's very low. Very low. Uh, maybe it's like six or something. And all the bases are the same. It's boring. I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, so I hit stage 10, and it kind of looks like I got a different ability for my troops. Like, I, it kind of looks like I lost my troop speed, and maybe we got life leech or something instead. Oh, I just thought of a way that the Mega Crab speed run could work instead of having it like you have to spend all 40 attacks, it should be. How fast can you beat stage 60? And just the entire thing is just you working your way up to stage 60. Forget about just wasting all of your attacks. That would never work for a speed run. But how fast can you beat stage 60? I feel like you can do something. Okay, I've chewed damage 100%. That might actually help me more now that I don't have the speed. I mean, obviously the speed was very, very helpful and I could use less smokes. But... Um, I think it'll help because the higher you go, the more HP is going to be on these cores. So it's going to be very helpful having the extra, uh, extra damage at the core. Double damage is a lot. That's a lot. 100% troop damage is so much. Because if you think about it, a uh, statue is 32. It, my game just crashed. If you gym up, or if you boost up that statue, it goes to 64. And then if you have one, oh, how should I do this? This is actually a little tough. There's a lot of HP on that core, but if I take down the mines around the core, I think I could just burn it. I mean, there's a few defenses, but the defense levels are pretty low. I have to remember, this is not a low level account anymore. This is a mid level account and I can do attacks like this. So I am going to. So we're going to flare up there, have a lot of energy. Let's actually take down some of these mines around the core because I have a feeling some of my troops will walk above it and we'll just burn it. So 100% troop damage. If you boost up one masterpiece that's maxed out, one guardian that's maxed out, you'll have 100%. So I think that getting 100% through mega crab and then if you're boosted up on top of that that is insane you're gonna have so much damage 200 percent damage one warrior i think every every second or something the warrior fires and every second i think my warriors can destroy like 80,000 hp or something like that um maybe that maybe it's like 160 but if you had 200 percent that can literally go up to like 450,000, which is insane, that's insane. This attack though, I kind of wish I had troop speed because there's a lot going on up here to the core. So I'm gonna get on the top side and try to burn through these defenses. Let's get a couple medkits out. I'm actually a little bit worried about this attack. I don't know if this is gonna work out. There's only two shield generators and the tiny shocks are gonna help us a ton keeping down some of these oh well, yeah we'll get some shocks out on these one shot buildings uh, okay let's get some artillery out instead help do a little bit of extra damage we'll flare to the core i don't know if any other troops aren't hitting the core it's gonna be pretty close i think we'll get a win here 100 percent troop damage helped me but 
I don't know if it would have been better than uh, true speed. I don't know. Stage 14, though, in 10 minutes is insanely fast. That is insanely fast. I'm honestly kind of surprised I got up here so fast. I hope you all enjoyed the video. This is a good place to stop. I actually didn't have the uh, pumpkin trophy from last year. So I have it now. Uh, it's kind of ugly. It's probably one of my least favorite trophies. I should do a trophy tier list video. That would be pretty hype, but uh, I don't know if that would be interesting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and um, I'll talk to you guys in the next Boomich video. Jimmy and I are live streaming today, actually. So go join our Discord server. Our link is down below. We'll be playing some Minecraft with some fans and having fun, and uh, it'd be nice for you guys to come out. We'll probably be live at 10 a.m. Central Time, so in like an hour from when this video is posted. So go join us, and we'll have a blast. Bye, guys.